just wanted to touch base about our final project for our Digital Design 1 class. We are going to be making digital paintings in Photoshop. So you guys are going to be using the brush tool um, or the paintbrush tool. It's called the brush tool and if you push B on your keyboard, it actually brings you right to the tool. But we're going to start by doing a practice painting. So you'll notice that if you go into the Google site at the top of the page, it says practice. And um, on the right hand side, there's a video of how to make an apple. So you guys are actually going to be practicing by painting an apple. And then once we're done with that, you guys are going to set up a still life in your house and you're going to take a photograph of it. Once you take a photograph of it, you're going to import it to your computer and you're going to make a little digital painting. Your still life should have a minimum of three different objects and you should set them up in some way that is visually appealing to you and or the person looking at the picture. So please really think about it. Don't just take three objects and throw them on the table um, because it won't make a nice painting in the end. You really want to take some time and think about it and think about a theme. You notice the picture that I put on the Google site is a pomegranate and then it has the pomegranate seeds kind of everywhere and a spoon holding some of the seeds. So it goes from background, which is the pomegranate, to the middle ground, which is the seeds next to the pomegranate, and then the foreground is the spoon. So it, it creates interest and it's a nice um, contrast from the red pomegranate to the brown background. So please really think about what it is that you're doing uh, for this project because you don't just wanna kind of slap it together. It is a final project. So you're gonna have a couple different things that you need to submit for this project. For the first class, you guys are building your still life and you're gonna photograph it. Um, you need to submit that photograph. The second class, you're going to submit a screenshot of your beginning it's underpainting or um, your, your kind of like digital sketch that you would start in Photoshop. Class three through five, you're going to be working, so you want to submit a screenshot at the end of that class, which would be class five. And then class six through eight, you're going to continue working. You need to submit another screenshot. And then class nine, you're gonna submit your final work. So what's really nice about the um, Google site that I created, it lays everything out for you guys. So if you prefer to work at your own pace, which would mean that you are doing the project a little bit earlier than the allotted time, that's totally fine. Please just make sure you have everything submitted. And once it's submitted, I'll go through and grade it. But if it is done or you submit it past the deadline, then it is late and there's nothing I can do about that. So please just make sure if you are working at your own pace that you're still submitting either everything before it's due or you submit whatever before or and on the due date that it is due. Please be sure to continue to check into Schoology um, that is used for your attendance. So if you don't check in, you are marked absent. Um, there's nothing I could do about that. Even if you submit your project, I don't check the projects real time. I check the attendance real time. Um, I'm always grading the projects the next day because I give you guys till midnight to submit them. So when I take attendance, I have to take attendance real time as if we were in class, but the projects are actually not due until midnight that day. So please continue to check in online and just make sure that you have everything submitted. If you guys have any questions, please email me. If you're not sure what to do, of course I'm here. Everything is laid out, it's pretty clear, um, but it, of course, questions, comments, concerns, not sure what to do, not sure where to start, um, please let me know. And definitely check out below or to the right or wherever I put it on this website. Definitely check out the links that I leave on the website. I'm always constantly trying to update it, give you guys more information and stuff like that, so yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.